Hello everybody, I'm Gemma Kuman. I'm an artist and illustrator and I'm the author of this book, Flock, A Tree Keeper Adventure. And I've been asked to read this to you today by Hexham Book Festival and kindly with permission by my publisher, Quarter Books. So let's get into the story. Flock, A Tree Keeper Adventure. Here are the end papers. You can see lots of little things that will pop up through the story. So keep an eye out for some of these things. Look. And here's my dedication for Jodie, Maya and Laylee. They're my family. That's who I'm spending this lockdown time with. Here in my home and studio in Northumberland. At the edge of the woods, there is a great tree. Peep through the branches and you might just see some little people who stand as tall as your thumb and have heads the size of hazelnuts. They are the tree keepers. If you look very closely, you'll see the tree keepers busy working together. They polish the buds, harvest the fruit and collect the dew. Nurture and mend, gather and tend, that's what tree keepers do. But tree keepers have fun too. You'll see them playing catch the acorn, twig tag and tug the vine. Well, you might not see everyone doing that. You probably won't notice Sylvia at all. She likes to be alone. Looking for the right shaped twig or petal to put in her basket. Sylvia brings these treasures back to her little hollow. Here she plays her favourite games for hours, out of the sight of the other tree keepers. It's her special secret place. But one wild and windy spring day, Sylvia finds someone else there. This place is taken, says Sylvia. You'll have to go. But the baby bird just chirps loudly. Sylvia reaches out to stroke its soft, scruffy feathers. I think you're lost, says Sylvia. I'll look after you. What's your name, little Scruff? Scruff, coffees the chick. Scruff takes a little bit of getting used to. He is noisy and messy and always hungry. But he's also sweet and chirpy and loves to play Sylvia's games. The new friends do everything together. But there's one thing Scruff can do that Sylvia can't. Wait, says Sylvia. I want to fly too. Sylvia looks at the drop below. It's scary, but she holds on tight and closes her eyes. Whoosh! Up here the world looks different, bright and breathtaking. All day long, Scruff and Sylvia explore new places. They eat new things and meet new friends. As the light begins to fade, Scruff soars into the sky. What has he seen? These new friends look just like Scruff. He chirps happily as he swirls and twirls with the other starlings. Sylvia holds on tight. Careful! She says to Scruff, but he just flies faster and faster with the others until... Wow, says Sylvia. As the flock of birds swoops and loops together, thousands of wings beating as one, Sylvia realises something. Scruff isn't lost anymore. When the moon begins to rise, Scruff takes Sylvia home to the twinkling lights of the great tree. As Sylvia hops off onto the branch, it's time to say goodbye. Sylvia is very sad. She knows the flock is where Scruff belongs. But things are too quiet without him. Her special secret place doesn't feel the same and none of the twigs or petals have the right shape anymore. Then one day, an acorn rolls down the stairs towards Sylvia. Do you want to play with us? says a girl. Sylvia thinks about her lonely secret hollow and about Scruff flying high with the flock. And then Sylvia, who's always said no before, nods. 
As time goes on, Sylvia finds she likes playing with the others. Soon she has made many new friends. In the calm of the den, they stitch garlands and make stick burrs while Sylvia tells stories of a wild dance in the sky. Everyone always wants to hear more. If you peep through the branches of the great tree today, you'll almost certainly see Sylvia, leaping, dancing and playing with friends old and new, nurture and mend, gather and tend. Sylvia is a tree keeper and that's what tree keepers do. And that's the end of the story. And this is Flock, a tree keeper adventure and it's available in all good bookshops now. Thank you everybody. Look after each other like Sylvie and Scruff and the tree keepers do. Bye.